And look at this. Oh, he's trying to outrun him. Look, there's the tank. He's trying to outrun him. He makes it. And he goes into a building. Oh, this is great. Hey, everybody. Larry Lawton here for another review of GTA 5. But before we get started, I want you to make sure you check out the membership program both here and on Patreon. Check them out. There's a lot of good stuff in there. A lot of people are talking about how cool it is. And I really connect with everybody on both of those uh, uh, membership programs. So let's get right to this heist. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He Gotta call Lester. Something. My man Tell Lester. We all know what I think of bad. Lester. <laughs> what a waste this call. guy is. I know he's in GTA, but he's a waste. All right, Darry's starting to drive off nice, which actually impressed me. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talk about a... You know I'd want to rob Lester. I always say it. Lester would be robbed by me. That's the one. I'll get on a bus. <laughs> but then again, Lester's getting on a bus. Do I really want to rob Lester? <laughs> I got a kick out of that. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. Stops at the stop sign, and then he hits a car. Hello? <laughs> I'm over that though. I, I got a kick out of that, and I learned that from Kevin, what expert thief. He said you just go balls to the wall. Enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens. This is true. These cops, let's face it, are they are a lot of them corrupt? Listen, these small towns, big time. You know they're corrupt. Or I won't say all of them, but a lot of them are. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend. All right, I gotta stop it there for a second. Here, here's me telling Michael, telling this other guy about his life, giving him his own psychology lesson. It kind of reminded me of me because I had a crew and I kind of told them, you know, you gotta be better with your wife. You know, you gotta start to calm down. You're drinking too much. Don't come near me with drugs. I mean, it's kind of like I am, so it kind of made me, wow, this really hit home. Less the getting off the bus. It, it just cracked me up. I don't care what you tell me. Here's this big brains of an operation. He rides around on a bus. I, I mean, it, you know, it doesn't get better than that. Come on, man, knock it off. He's throwing rocks at him. Oh, my God. They come up with some good stuff in this one. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers. You don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. That's exactly the way I would talk. Ah, finally. Even had my eyes. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, less the getting nice. off the bus. Come on, car's this way. Paperwork's correct. The alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> Little Hobunk Town. Believe it or not, I used to go through and check towns out like this. That's the interest. He actually drives pretty good checking it out. Okay. Lane County Savings Bank. He stops at the stop sign. Way to go, Darian. I made a little bit of mistake, but nothing major. I like it. The place is remote. Then he drives on the on, on, on the uh, dirt. Did he really need to do that? I don't think so. It's not ideal. It's going to cost more to break that system than the score is going to pay. Well, we're going to have to find a new score. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. First of all, Lester says he could, we could, and then it was the idea. I'm a hell of a shot. One shot and I hit the alarm. Okay. You guys ever shoot a pistol? It's not that easy. Station opposite the bank. And I hit the wall. And we'll monitor chatter. All right. But really. Let me stop something right before the cops come. It's true. Shooting a pistol, and I've shot a lot of guns. You know, shooting from that distance to hit a bell on a wall is a lot harder than you think. It's not a rifle. It's not a scope. It doesn't even have a laser. So think about that. But listen, and why would you carry guns while you're casing the robbery? What happens if you got stopped? 
I know it's crazy. I know it's a game, but these are the things I think about. I actually think about why would you do that? Why would you? You'd have a legit car. It'd be nothing. You're just guys looking in the area maybe to, to buy a building or to open up a, a shop there or something. But if you have pistols on you, right away you're going to jail. Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a Code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Lane County Savings. Smart move to get the response time on cops. I've done that. Nine and one will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even... And Lester picked it up. That's a pretty big reply for an alarm that just goes off. 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this Maybe Lester's worth his weight here because he's kind of smart. On their piggy bank. He's 100% correct. That's an overwhelming response. Most alarms go, well, banks are different. They go to the police, but they usually go to a, a, a monitoring place first. And today they're all monitored with uh, video surveillance. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. How did they know the alarm was triggered intentionally? Did they see the bullet in it? Did it take them time to do that? Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. Lester needs a wheelchair. We're still faster than your ass. Not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. Planning. I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Listen, cops protecting their own money, that could be dangerous. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. A little confused me here for a second. Let me stop. When it, Lester's doing suggestions, I suggest we hijack the uh, truck, or uh, maybe we should trigger the alarm. Be a little bit more assertive, Lester. If you're gonna run this show, do something. Why am I paying you, Lester? You don't deserve shit. You're not one of the guys coming in. You don't got balls to even do it. Come on, Lester, get with it. Trust me, it wouldn't be that easy to go hijack one of those things. No way. But hey, you got the firepower, you can do anything you want. And this one's pretty cool. <laughs> Watch this, he runs over him. He just ran over the body. <laughs> I did that. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing... All right, that's a little bit of a mistake. Your plan was to get on a boat. Where are you going from the boat? I mean, you got to come a little bit deeper into this plan to show us where we're going to put all this money. They know you're on a boat, and there's only certain places you can go from a boat. You're not unless you're going to a boat that's out there, and you, you could have elaborated a little bit more, but uh, I get it, but this one's a pretty wild pretty wild show and it reminded me of actually something so let's get back to it you ever hit a bank before franklin yeah i was the driver on the job my boy lamar pulled guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now right nice bro what was the take shit i don't know man i can't remember come on everyone remembers their first score. i got a kick out of these guys here they are on the way there talking about their crimes what was your first bank score 88 outskirts of Carcer City. Took a and I will say this, while they're doing that, I do remember, and everybody will remember their first job and how much it was. I made 150000 on my jewelry career robberies. I'm not talking about my criminal career. That, that scans and that, that spans a very long spectrum. I'll never forget my first robbery and obviously a jewelry robbery was the setup and you guys know about it from the past videos if not look in the description below 
and then you'll see what uh, video I talk about my first robbery. I'll bring a die pack just for you. <laughs> I liked the way he was messing with him. I'll bring a die pack just for you. Boy, is that turning it in. That's turning it in. We ready for this? I could use a restroom break <laughs> and risk getting ID. I could use a restroom break and then worried about getting ID after they go through all that kind of stuff. That that all of us was funny. And pinch it off. That had me rolling. Double bag it. Believe it or not, there have been robberies, and many of them, and I knew a crew, and I had to stop it here, because there was a robbery crew that one of the guys used to take a shit in the store that they robbed and left it there, and that was his signature. Don't ask me why, and it was pretty much, this was in the 80s, so it was really before that DNA stuff, and everybody really knew about that stuff. But think about that. That is one is disgusting. I can't even stand it. And two is like, why steal a clock? We know what I did, but uh, I don't know. This one just got me a little bit, and, and I kept thinking of that during the thing. And who doesn't? Who has to go to the bathroom before a robbery? Come on. I mean, obviously that shouldn't have been. Y'all ready? Let's go. I do get a kick out of these guys coming in hard, and they sure do come in hard. Let's do it. This is Stake Up. Get on the ground. Today's going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor now. For a little bank, they had a lot of people in there for this little town, and that was a shocker there. Keep an eye on our trusted employee. Okay, you got the crowd. Carried the blowtorch, carried all this stuff, all these weapons. That kind of like funny too. Down. Here the cops roll up. They think it could be a false alarm. So let them come in. After they come in, you take them down. He comes out and shoots in the air. And then they run, and of course they go nuts. We're gonna need everything we got down here. <laughs> Sheriff's here. They we can't get out. Boy, do they come out with some stuff. Other ways of beating it. Move it. Call up procedure. I really got a kick at how many cops are in this little town. Trust me, I know a lot about scoping out how many police are in a town and how many police are in a specific department and size of that department. Time to Way out of whack. But fun. Sweet mother of shit. When that cop said sweet mother, it really reminded me, and I stopped at the video for to tell you a quick story. In LA, and you guys can look it up, they had a couple of guys who had full body armor and machine guns and went after the cops and it was it was the biggest shootout ever and it was in the middle of the street and 12 o'clock in a the day they ended up getting killed but what an amazing shootout you can look it up online check it out and that's what i thought about but when he came out with that machine gun that heavy that that, that heavy machine gun, that was kind of wild light it up Look at the gear they're, they're done, and that really happened. Guys had body armor and everything. And the price of gas keeps on rising. I don't know how many bullets they took and took with them, but I will tell you what, boy, that went nuts. It was pretty wild. I, I was really getting a kick out of this shooter. And I don't know, I never would do this, of course. You know, this is not the way. This guy shot down helicopters. Now get out of here. <laughs> They're on to us. Did you hear that one? They're on to us. Hello? <laughs> I'll tell you what, the graphics in this game is amazing. I gotta give GTA a lot of credit with that. You know, Rockstar does GTA. Man, your graphics are spot on, guys, man. A lot of fun to watch. Very entertaining, it really is. Shit! 
We aren't getting out on the water. They ain't getting out on the water. Hello. <laughs> They didn't even show the boat, so that wasn't really an option. That was 50 pounds of gear. Blast it! You have caused enough damage. Get it up. Stop it. Did you hear that cop? You've caused enough damage. Stop it. Oh, really? Guys got machine guns and body armor. They're going to listen to you. Come on. I mean, if that doesn't make you laugh and you're not playing this game saying, you know, I know what you're saying out there. Yeah, go, you know, go take a hike, guy. Go fuck yourself. Funny. We're bringing down the fences here, real and emotional. They got so much gear, they can't get over a fence. This is funny, they shoot the fence up. You know what I'm saying? Go through the fence! Go through the fence. Lay down your weapon! There's a way to get through the fence. We need another escape route. Can you find a vehicle? Something that might stand up to gunfire. There's some construction around the way. Aye. Stay behind it. We go right through them, gentlemen. I really did get a kick out of that gun and all the ammo. They even blew up a SWAT truck. I mean, come on. Pretty wild, though. Crazy. I guess they're not worried about ricochets or his partner next to him either. I guess that wasn't even mentioned or thought about. This is on you, copper. Look at this. He had to be. He just shot his guy. He walked right in front of his gun going off. You gotta see that. Move on. Oh, I love that gun. You have got to Cops are coming from everywhere. I mean, this police department's gotta be the biggest police department in America. New York City Police Department don't have this many cops. Hey, hey, we're here, right along. Hey, if you try to steal cops' money, you know they're coming hard, man. Trust me, they're coming hard. They come hard when it's not their money. They got that pump of adrenaline. And now the military. Oh my God! This is where our defense spending. You got, you got, you think about that. I mean, I just. I mean, think about that. The military. The military's here. How would you like that? And and look how quick they mobilized the military. Think of that. I mean, listen, we all know this is unrealistic. I just, but it is fun to watch and it is it is fun to play. I mean, um, with Darian doing it. Oh, did you like that? They actually fly in a tank with a helicopter. <laughs> And the criminals, what do they get? The criminals get a bulldozer. Come on, man. you got to love this. If this isn't off the charts, this is one of the most wild ones I've seen. And, and, and he's loving it. You know what? I really, though, think about it. I would love to do that. I would love to take a bulldozer and go over some cop cars. Just something I'd love to do. And military cars. He's doing it all. But they're shooting him. Unless he's in a bulletproof cage, how don't they shoot him? How don't they shoot the guy in the head? Something. He doesn't have body armor. It doesn't say he has body armor. In fact, when he gets there, they say, stay behind me. But it is cool when he's knocking over these cars. Come on. That's got to be pretty cool. You hear that car fire? That's how I'm doing it. You know, you also think of the make this movie. How many cars they'd have to go through? This would be a great movie. Uh, listen to the shoot. Can't point they tough. <laughs> Franklin, you could drive that tank. That's pretty cool too. Uh, uh, the bulldozer. Not easy to drive a bulldozer. Oh man, chill. Oh, over here. There's our ride. Good kid. There's our ride. And look what they do. They jump in the front. So if they're going at him, they're just going to get shot up. And they're going against the tank. Oh my god. This is so hilarious. The tank. A tank versus bulldozer. This should be a movie of itself. This should be a, a Transformer movie. They both come all alive. And look at this. Oh, they're trying to outrun him. Look, there's the tank. He's trying to outrun him. He makes it. And he goes in through a building. Oh, this is great. 
Let's go inside and regroup. Let's go inside and regroup. Like nobody knows what they're doing. Fucking no suits. And we got a train to catch. I love it. They're in a train depot. Nobody would know that. Come on, come on, come on. We're pretty cool, but boy, the body count is. You know, I don't know how GTA does it and adds it up, but if you if you're here to kill people, boy, Darian, you're a murderer. I don't know what they're doing in Canada to you, but they're going to be hanging you for sure. You're getting the electric chair in the United States. Use me as cover, Frank. You don't want to get out front. See? Use me for cover, Frank. You don't want to get out front. He don't have the armor. These guys got the armor. Go away! So he could have got killed in the bulldozer. I'll look out for myself, man. Go! Frank is saying, I'll look out for myself. No, you won't. I want to be behind the guy with that Gatling gun. That sweeper? Let me be behind that guy. Nobody's messing with that guy. They're talking during the gunfight like, hey, uh, you don't surround yourself with bad people and meth heads. That is funny. Oh, more army showing up. More army. Here's another one I didn't get, you know, and, and, and Darian, not a great choice of weapon. You're taking a shotgun to shoot long distance. Hello? How do you do that? And you're getting them. I mean, I get the game, but... You gotta cock a shotgun? Go back and get a machine gun. Get a rapid fire. Get something. I don't get you getting a shotgun. You know, you want a shotgun for close quarters. and Bam! Double up buck. Blow a hole in anybody and blow them away, but... Take an M16 on automatic. When a bullet hits with an M16, it hits something and it tumbles. That's what happens. That's why it'll rip you up. An M16 will go in you in a little hole and come out and the hole will be that big. So it'll go in like this, come out that big. That's how big it'll come out. Because the bullet tumbles. So it rips up the whole body. It's a very bad weapon. I mean, it's a killer. It's a killing weapon is what it is. That's why it's not used for hunting. And M16 shells, that was terrible. Look at the look at the range of that shotgun. I gotta give him a lot of credit. He's the best shot with a shotgun, or you know, that, the, that's the best that you can imagine. That's a long distance to shoot a shotgun. <laughs> look at Franklin. He's got no armor. <laughs> this guy, I get. He, he's totally armored up. Man, are they getting away with this. This is pretty wild. And then they just jump on a train and get away. Oh, man. Come on, guys. You got to love that. Got to love that. No fly away. No nothing. And all of a sudden, they're going to wake up and guess who's there. They get away with it. Look at this. They're meeting. Yo, easy, easy. I'm a friendly. Agent Sanchez. Agent Sanchez, our own corrupt man in training. Careful, buddy, all right, because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And it's okay. Okay. Now look at how little money they got. They got a stack of 15, 20 grand. I mean, give me a break on that. Number one. Number two. Uh, let, let, let's review this heist a little bit. Obviously, you'd know more when the cops are coming. You wouldn't have jumped those cops right out to jump. You could have let them come into the bank. Whack them both if you're gonna kill them, and then nobody knows. You could even call in on their radio and try it anyway, and say, "Hey, listen, false alarm again." They just had a false alarm, so that's one another way of doing it. Uh, you know, the wacky personalities of the guys is pretty wild, but again, we know it's a game. I did get a kick out of it. I gotta say something, guys. GTA is a lot of fun. They got away with another heist, and I love looking at these. I start getting into them as I'm watching them, and it's kind of fun to watch because whoever thinks up these games are, you know, obviously we know it's a game, and it's it's unrealistic. But here's another couple of ways I can make this game better. Just more realistic. A better planned heist, a better points heist, a more realistic approach, maybe the G-men, the real G-men being corrupt, but in on it in some way, and maybe a bank manager in on it and gave them the code, 
maybe somebody who who gave him uh, inside information in the whole robbery instead of Lester being this, uh, I don't know what Lester is. I'm telling you, we're going to whack Lester in one of these games. That'll be a lot of fun. But the uh, you could always make him get it. But you know what? It's GTA. We all know it's not real. Don't ever think it's real. Don't get enamored with the... No, let me say it. It's the wrong word. Don't get to the point where you think this... Don't get desensitized to stuff like this. You know, a lot of people ask me all the time, is, is these games, you know, corrupting our youth? Not at all. Because if you believe this is real, then there's something really wrong with your head if you think this can even be close to real. Is it entertaining? Absolutely. I loved it. Think about it. I really did. I mean, the graphics, the shootouts, and the, the quick hit, you know, you got to love that. I mean, it really was. I got a kick out of that. And, and I enjoyed reviewing it, enjoyed watching it, and I watched it a few times. Can I do it better? Absolutely. But is GTA doing a good job? They sure are, because a lot of you guys like it. And, you know, I liked it too. So, hey, listen, I'm going to do more of these. If you like them, tell me your thoughts as well. Stay in touch, everybody. Stay safe. Play games. Now's the time to stay inside playing games, protecting your loved ones the right way with the coronavirus distancing. It's the only way to do it. Everybody, again, I really appreciate you. I appreciate you Let me do this for you guys. Uh, I connected with some people on Patreon, private stuff. I love it. If you're on that, that's what happens. Things are going great. I'm really happy, and uh, I'm glad to know all you guys out there, and I'm glad you're enjoying it. Stay safe, everybody, man. Check all our stuff out, Instagram, everything we got going on, even the books and stuff like that. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe. Stay tuned.